That's the secret weapon. That's my own. Chili base. Okay, now Tom has to take a bite of that unbelievable, really hot burn in. Uh huh. <laughs> Tastes good though, doesn't it? I'm gonna take a big old scoop of this here. Oh yeah. Watch me eat a piece here. Okay. Is it still hot? It's a little bit warm, but like that chili base, it's my homemade chili base. Sun. Right here. Don't waste anything. It's edible right now, but I just feel the need to stick it back on the cooker, you know? Yeah, we're gonna stick it back on there and just let the fire work its way out. And then we're gonna go finish splitting a bunch of wood, stacking it, and then we will eat this chili right in front of you, I promise. Yeah! later.
Guys, I'm telling you what, this is the best chili I've ever had in my life here. Check it out. We got all this texture in there. We got the brisket, got big old burnt ends. We got these homemade jalapenos that Mike Forrester made for us here. He grew them in his garden, pickled them the other day. I'm telling you, man, this is awesome. Watch this. Here we go. That's it. Mmm. So it's just the right amount of heat. We got these, look at that burn in right there. That's the brisket we cooked the other day. It just like, just melts in your mouth. That au jus we put back in it. We saved all the juice from that brisket. We separated the grease out. We poured that back in there whenever we added that homemade chili seasoning that I make in there. My God. This is good. Anyway, yeah.